They're not good quality attacking troops. They've got the wrong templates for it. And you can see there, that doesn't look like it's going very successfully at all. We're wearing down the cohesion, but it's not... Um, we're not advancing in very well. Yeah, that should be what my cavalry and stuff is for. But anyway, Senor. let's try and make this pocket smaller because it's currently far too big. Commanding. And as you can see, there's a few supply issues starting to show up. Now, where did my tanks Commanding. get to? Right, let's get it. There's no, there is a port over here, but let's get in. Avanzate. And just uh, scoot up the coast. In fact, let's send the infantry in first. Speed the process up a little bit. Let's get them out of there. Pronto, signore. Those in there. Pronto, signore. Keep going. Keep going. We've got a nice little pocket going. Finally decrypted the United Kingdom. Who was the other one? Oh, Iran. I think it was Iran the other one? No. no, it can't have been. I did click on that, didn't I? Yeah. Has anything else opened up here? I always like to look for new political options now we move. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> right, where were we? We'll discredit Haile Selassie. Can we bolster spirits? War support. Yep, that's war support. And uh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay, so we might need a little bit of railroad coming up here. We've got like a, a link. I'm going to link that up. And then beyond that, it's 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 a mess. So we'll leave that. Um, yeah, we'll clean that up. And then we'll, we'll clean this up. And then we'll force another little cut off up there. This should bring supplies through once we've closed this pocket, I hope. At the moment, it's a, it's a bit of a shabby mess. But I mean, the enemy are in such a, such a sorry state here. I'm really surprised. Oh, okay, it is now starting to, starting to push that shut. Keeping a nice half a million men in reserve. We've got the tanks coming in. We have... Good. Death of Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria. What does that do? Who who does that give them? A new guy. I was considering destroying Bulgaria just because we can. Although there isn't any particular great advantage in me doing it. We um, take this place. That's a nice overrun if we can do that. That will be pretty sweet. And then we wait for some new supplies and then we will cut the line up here as well. Destroy a certain number of divisions that suffer from the encircled combat modifier. I mean, that, that is the way to, uh, to take these guys on, really, in it. Did they get Moscow? They still haven't got Moscow. I, I, there's no supplies. I don't want to get involved in that fight up there because I can't, or can I build infrastructure? I mean, I don't want to build infrastructure for them. There is supply to be had. Oh, that's, that's interesting. We're pushing up quite nicely here. We'll make that the last one. So we can uh, just recover a bit. Proved anti-tank stuff. Let's move on to something else. We still haven't got these 
these 1940s medium tanks. We are well behind with that. And lots of things in here as well. I'll tell you what we will do. We'll start building this up so we can do proper naval invasions. Like big naval invasions. We do need that. Did we get the oil? We should have a nice supply of oil now. Hmm, some up there. We should have had all this, though. 50 oil. That's what we like to see. That's why we're here. Saudi Arabia. It's not really worth my time taking these places on. Right, let's have a look at... Formazione. Our excellent marine division. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I want to see this. I'm hoping we've got a big fleet. We have. Then the only real rubber production is down there. That uh... Oh, there'll be some in India. I don't fancy invading India. Unless... What is the situation? Steel. I could take their steel. Self-propelled guns. Uh, what have we got? This gives us modernize this. Factory output, dockyard output, military industry. We get two military factories. We'll get some free variants to design without having to create them. And this gives us um, research speed, weapons and equipment, artillery, air research speed, naval research speed. Lack of resources penalty minus 10%. All of a sudden, that sounds really good. We still get those variants. But that's like factory and dockyard output plus 5%. That's pretty big. Lack of resources penalty. I think we can manage the resource penalty. I'm going to go that one. Because the factory output looks too good to, to pass up. Come on then, Marines. It doesn't look like... Um, it doesn't look like anybody's here. Well, that is a real shocker. You should have a commander in, even if it's a monk crap. Let's, um, let's do that. Uh, let's, oh, actually, let's make sure the other dude's game before I go cancelling that order. Right, and we've got the airfield, which is nice. So let's Attento. take one of these, march them up, and the other guy Attento. goes straight through the middle, and they'll all end up there. And on the airfield, do we have room for anything else? We do. Let's put in... It won't let me put anything else in at the moment. I wonder if it's just knackered. Captured an agent. Still can't put anything in. It's probably destroyed due to the landing. Okay, we've got stuff in. Uh, let me put some naval bombers in. Two lots. Okay. Uh, quick pause while we figure this out. So we're going to have one lot. Port striking over there. And uh, it's probably not worth this, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. I'm just over there. And the last thing I'll do... Nice, we've got the got the new yes, recruits in. They can go hold that place. And we should have finished that mission now, which is excellent. Let me see. Anti-air upgrade, which is also good. We've got a big bonus for that. Let's go for that one. Commandy. Right, Marines. Just because we can... From there, I don't think anyone's ever going to try and retake this back, but it's sitting in the middle of the ocean, so I'm going to have it. And that should be uh, good. I don't even know why we're bothering to hold that, to be quite honest. India is kind of tempting, purely because I can get some steel from there. Infrastructure is probably going to be... It's maxed out. We get 108 rubber. That is 
Superb. Now we can cut our trade down. Were we were we trading rubber? We were. So get rid of that. We easy we easily don't need this. Why was I bringing that in? But we do need steel. We need oh god, that's five factories worth of steel, right? Let's bring it in from Germany. We need it. We absolutely need it. And that will do, I think. I mean, it gives us a naval base over here as well. The Marines are doing a great job. We'll take that for the sake of it. Huh, interesting. Could I then go and... Is there any steel in South Africa? There is. Free France still has something going on over here. Could I... Where was that other army? One we took over. Could we do a massive naval invasion and knock out South Africa from this end? That would be good, wouldn't it? We have all the naval superiority we need. We would gain some steel for the uh, the problems we would have going up there. Effectively opens another front. I mean, we have so many troops up there. We don't need those, those that Ordini. fifteen divisions on there, do we? Right, plan uh, in Africa. Join that group. Oh, is it automatically recalculated? That is nice. I don't think it used to do that when you used to switch armies around and it used to annoy the hell out of me. A great intelligence service effort. Excellent. That has gone. And we're not encrypting anyone. Who shall we go and decrypt? Oh, Bulgaria. We did Bulgaria. We were planning an attack there. Is it worth doing South Africa? 110 days. I think we should probably start working on um, North America. Military police three. That's good. Should we start doing some improved aircraft? We were going to design some better aircraft, weren't we? So we want the survivability stuff. That will give us self-sealing fuel tanks and the like. Poor old Navy, struggling along here. Let me drop you in there. Nice, we're getting some light cruisers built up. Well, folks, we're doing pretty well. I would say. I'm trying to work out how we can best invade Britain because I want the territory to go to me. If I select the invasion from German territory, will it go German or will it go Italian? This is something I've been thinking about because it used to be whichever nation you launch the invasion from, that's the colour or that's the whoever gets the new territory. But I don't really want to have to launch all my invasions from flipping Gibraltar. Ireland, possibly, as a stepping stone. Or, oh, Germany's got this already. That's a shame. We could take Iceland and then invade from the top. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Maybe a good idea, though. Right, how were we getting on over here? Formazione. My Marines... They can probably just go as soon as they're ready. I'm just going to tick it because I don't think there's going to be any resistance there. I'm not sure about the South African thing. I have to consider that. Right, how is this looking? Sí, signore. We need to send these guys up through there. OK, 
Okay, we've got the nice new improved medium tank chassis. Should we go straight into this before we recreate a better one? 90 XP. 144 days. Uh, set it off. Were we also doing the um, artillery though? This gives us the improved high velocity cannon. You know what? I mean, there's not a whole lot of points in making crap medium tanks. So, we must have produced a good few, actually. So, let's go straight on. Improved medium tank chassis. Let's, um... What else am I going to use the XP for? We may as well play with it. We've got Christie suspension. We'll go cast armor. We'll leave that on at the moment. We'll go three-man turret and we're going to go medium armaments improved medium howitzer awesome soft attack or should we just go improved medium cannon it's still pretty good we'll go with that just just keeping the flavor of things um, we could put a secondary turret on and give it a howitzer uh, that would be fun let's do go on let's do something a little bit fun. We can only have a small cannon or a heavy machine gun. Oh, it's a shame, is that? Is it worth it? We won't bother in that case then. We'll give it a radio. And we'll give it um, armor skirts. Breakthrough three. And we'll give it, I guess we can, stabilizer. Liability is good. So far, that looks all right. Let's get the engine. That's quite nice. Can we drop the armor up a bit as well? Engine, armor. I mean, I'm wasting points, really. Reliability, 100%. Do you know what? I'm good with that. Let's go with that. Let's change that, though. It's got to look like a medium tank, hasn't it? Can we select a different model or not? No, okay, save. The M16, which actually looks kind of cool. Drop that. Yes, we lose that. We're still making seven a week, though. All right, nice. How's our... Do you know what? These, these new armor divisions are actually coming on pretty well. It's missing... It's, it's got about half the tanks that it needs. But other than that... Oh, it's because he's got Panzer Fours in there. We're making it up with everything we've got. Cool. Cool. So far, so good. Move in, folks. We're going to crush these. And um, the only thing stopping us up here is a real lack of supply. Can I build? Wow. Okay, this, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm going to have to put something in here. And we will... We will link up. Obviously, it's coming up there. That's terrible. So let's also link up from there. What do we just modernize? That gives us... Oh, factory output. And this one gives us military industry. All armor gets defense and bake through. Uh, army experience, research for armor technology, two military factories, and some variants. Cool. Okay. We'll have it, I think. I didn't realize the supply situation was that bad. I figured once we took some of these, the railways or something would link up. But um, it's, it's pretty appalling. We must have, um, the mechanized stuff. Nice, we, we built enough and this is now increasing. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. British Malaya has capitulated. The allies are not looking too strong at the moment. The toad anti-air is, it's gonna fill in what it needs, so that's okay. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. 
The military factory situation is not too bad. We've got a lot of close air support. So we can afford to put a lot more into play when we decide we want to. I don't know what's going on. I can't seem to manually select that to use somewhere. But the fighters... We don't seem to need too many fighters. God, the light tanks. All right, I'm going to I'm going to put extra military factories into the light tanks. They have been doing the bulk of the work. Si, signore. Has to be said. They've been surprisingly good. Oh, hang on a minute. Can I make amphibious tanks? Have I not researched that yet? Yeah, I have. All right, we better put something on this. Have I got the points for this? Yeah. Uh, not that the Marines seem to be missing out too much, but... Right, speed doesn't matter for this, so let's go for... I'll go for reliability. We'll go for reliability. Uh, cast armor. We're going to go for... we go for medium. Three-man turret. And we're not going to be landing into... Uh, tank, so we're going to go for improved howitzer. This, this is going to be like for support stuff. This is going to be going in with the Marines. This is going to be a good build. We obviously need a radio. And from there, additional machine guns. Oh, what an auto loader. That gives us extra defense and breakthrough. Dozer blade, armor skirts, extra storage, sloped armor, smoke launchers. Stabilize. I like the stabilizer. I'm putting that on. And that's for reliability. Which we... We don't need speed at all on this. I think that's good to go, actually. We'll just put the armor up. As long as the engine speed is something like... Uh, I need reliability. So let me put the wet storage on. That's good. Armor is good. Engine is good. 100% reliability, 5 kilometers an hour, so it's fast enough for the marching infantry. It's all that matters. Basic amphibious tank. I'll take it. Goes to the top, put it into production. We're going to have to sacrifice something else at this point. So give me 10 factories worth of that. But... Um, I'm going to take a bit of artillery off. I'm going to take those those out so that we can get some amphibious tanks going. All right. Okay. So far, so good. He says again. And the big question is, can I bring the armor up? Commandy. It's in a pretty good state. So I'm going to try... A risky manoeuvre. They'll have supplies with them. The downside is that they're going to get there with no cohesion and then also no supply. It'll start ticking down. But I'm going to cut everything off here. Commandy. I don't actually need them at this point because the Russians have just walked out of the ones where ah, they got in. We are winning. Attento. Tell you what, I'll throw some support in. Because it's still working. Where's my... Where's my light si, tank at? There is no... Right, okay. Oh, hang on. I thought I'd railroad with you guys. And maybe there's no railroad available. Avanzate. We've got the engineer companies. We got the extra cannon. We'll we'll go to that in a minute. Should we go hospital? Should we go recon? Shall we go something else? Shall we get some aircraft on? We'll have heavy machine guns, extra fuel tanks, drop tanks, engines. Let's get some better aircraft engines, and let's get some better AA guns as well. Using the bonuses for that, switch that one over. 
improved anti-air. Nice. There's a lot of things that need improved anti-air adding into them as, as like support units. Uh, well, we we got it briefly. Attento. Attento. So what we're going to do Formazione. is just um, there's very little point in doing that now. I'm going to bring you back to this port. Avanzate. I think. I think my time in the USSR is probably coming to a close. Uh, the cavalry doesn't need to be on there now. I've probably got... Where's this army? Pronto. Where are you guys at? They're down here. They don't need to be there. Unless I want to put them on the front line to assist with something. The only thing I'm tempted to do is try and rush the light tanks up here and storm Moscow. Just to try and finish it. Otherwise it's going to be an awfully long drawn out fight this is this is going down let's get the cavalry out of there they are just starving um come back to grozny and delete that no 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 delete that excellent survivability studies we should have been working on this probably a long time ago but we'll get the better cannons we might make some new aircraft at the end of all this so get my poor, tired, bedraggled forces out of there. Comandi. Not quite sure what happened here. Attento. They have either done a naval invasion or they've cut themselves off somehow. Uh, did I ever get the supply stuff built here? Oh my word, hang on, what has happened? Right, that's what's happened. Okay. <laughs> I need some more forces over here because this is far too big to... Some other army has, has pressed up here. The Germans, I think. And that's now far too big a front for my, my one force to hold on to. What have we got elsewhere? Commandi. Where are you guys at? Hang on. Oh, we're, we're spread apart? Am I really wanting to go into South Africa? Is it worth it for 40 steel? Just think of the troops I could free up, though. I don't think it's worth it, you know. Alright, what I'm going to do... Si, signore. I'm going to put you guys in here. But we're also going to have... I need a new field marshal. Pronto. What have you got? A fortress buster. That's quite useful to have. Or a scavenger. That's terrible. Uh, you can be a fortress buster. I don't think it's going to work for anything, but... Commandi. So what I need is probably... You can just drop out of that army. Ordini. You can drop out. And then Formazione. we've got these guys who are right up there. Pronto. You who are doing... Oh, I have an army here. Okay. Pronto you stay where you are then. And you can just field marshal order here. Let's do that and that. Field marshal that. So it is going to be a mess, but... Um, did we get this? Oh, we did. That's okay. We, we got it. I thought they just instantly cancelled all the attacks. It doesn't look like it's changed colour. I'm going to have to change this to blue. There we go. We can see what's going on. Now, the downside of this is that um, there might be nothing holding whilst these troops come in. Let's get some... You could draw a fallback line. I could. I could do a fallback line instead of manning the front. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. I don't need to really press on, do I? Because there's nothing really in there for me. 